सो हे देर एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो अवर टू डेज प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द डे इज स्मोलेस्ट सम कॉन्टीज अरे सो लेट्स सी द प्रॉब्लम सो वी आर गिवन विद एन एरे ऑफ एन इंटीज सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द कॉन्टीज सब एरे कॉन्टेनिंग एट लीस्ट वन नंबर विच हैज द मिनिमम सम एंड वी हैव टू रिटर्न इट सम सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल एरे गिवन इज दिस मच सो अवर लॉन्गेस्ट अवर स्मोलेस्ट सम कॉन्टीज सब एरे विल बी माइनस सिक्स राइट सो दिस मच विंडो विल गिव आस्ट द स्मोलेस्ट सम कॉन्टीज सब एरे राइट कॉन्टीज मीन्स लेट से वी हैव वी हैव थ्री माइनस फोर टू माइनस थ्री लेट से दिस मच एरे इज गिवन देन कॉन्टीज मीन्स द एलिमेंट्स विच आर कमिंग अर्जस एंड राइट मीन्स विच आर कमिंग वन आफ्टर वन बाय वन राइट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल थ्री then to the next of very next of it we have minus 4 right if you take the window like 3 to then it is not contiguous right this is not contiguous it's it's a subsequence but it is not a sub array right so because there is minus 4 coming between them right so like 3 minus 4 this is one uh, contiguous sub array 3 minus 4 uh, 2 and 2 this is contiguous sub array right uh, i hope you got now what is contiguous here means so we have to find the smallest sum contiguous sub array so the given array elements given are 3 minus 4 2 minus 3 uh, minus 1 7 minus 5 right so you can't do like this so to pick up all the negative elements the window should be contiguous right so uh, first our brute force will be it will be run in big of n square right we, we are going to use two nest loops right so let's say we are taking one answer so we will initialize it with int max right and we'll run two two nest loops and we'll check all sub arrays right so and uh, we'll return our answer with minimum value right so for example we'll run a for loop from i is equal to 0 to n right let's take a temporary variable first so and we'll again run one more loop from i to n and we'll keep adding all the values right in our temporary variable right like this and at last we'll and in for every for every sub array we'll store the answer with the minimum value right we'll store the answer with the minimum value and at last simply we'll return our answer right so but but this but this code will led to the time complexity of big of n square right so we can further optimize it so we'll use the concept of cadence algorithm here right so mean sliding window so what we'll do is we'll take two variables for example we take uh, in cadence algorithm or uh, sliding window so like we take current sum and max sum right to calculate the maximum uh, sub array right maximum value of sub array in this case we'll just to do opposite right we in this case we have to find the smallest right so let's take uh, two variables current sum and mean sum right so we have let's say current sum and one is minimum sum right we'll initialize both with the int max right so now we'll run only one for loop so now for our current element it is 3 right so we'll initialize both with 3 right we'll put both with 3 now we are starting window like this now we have minus 4 right so we we can add it in our current sum right 3 minus 4 will be minus 1 but but we'll we'll take minimum from among of them right so minimum of minimum from 3 minus 4 is minus 4 right so at every point minimum we will calculate minimum sum as minimum of our current sum and the minimum so for we had seen right so means uh, from among minimum is minus 4 right so we'll we'll put minus 4 in our mean sum variable right at every point what we are doing is we are taking the minimum value right we, because we have to find the smallest sum contiguous sub array right so what we are doing is we are taking the minimum value from the uh, current very uh, current element we are at and the element we had seen so far so from among 3 and minus 4 so minus 4 is minimum right so now up to up to this window our minimum sum is small uh, means contiguous sub array is with minimum sum is minus 4 right so now going on to 2 so we had seen 2 so uh, now we'll add we can add it in our current sum right plus 2 
so it will it will be one right it will be one now if we add it in our minimum sum right if we add it in our minimum sum right so it will be minus two it is still less than zero right it is still smallest right so we are still in the profit so we'll we'll add it in our min sum now going on further we have minus three right so every element we will add it in our current sum but we are doing like greedy approach while adding in our minimum sum if the value is still less than zero right after adding the current element if value is still coming less than zero then we will add it if if it is coming greater than zero after adding the current element then we will again update it to zero right we will again update it to zero so now we have minus three so now one minus three will be we are adding in the current sum it will be minus two so up to this our current sum is minus two uh, if we add in our minimum sum yeah we are getting the value with less than zero right so our our sum is getting smaller right we'll add minus three right because it will benefit at us now we have minus one again so make sure we are starting window from here right uh, our window is now from here because we have taken minimum from them right so our window is starting from here now right means smallest sum contiguous or barrier for now uh, we have minus five right current minimum sum up to minus one so if if you now take seven in consideration so you can add it in our current sum minus two plus seven will be five but if we try to add it in our mean sum right minus five plus seven will be will be two right so it is coming greater than zero it is coming greater than zero then what we'll do is we'll not add it in our sum right at that point will simply break or this much window will give us the answer uh, maximum right so uh, or you can we will again initialize it with with the zero if now our current sum is coming greater than zero right it is coming five so we'll again initialize it with zero we'll again initialize it with uh, zero so for example let me show you little bit code so let's say we have uh, current sum variable right initialize it with zero now we are running a for loop from i is equal to zero to n right we are adding elements one by one in our in our current sum right plus is equal to array of i now we'll check if our current sum is less than the answer right now uh, let me take one variable answer to return our final answer right and initialize it with the int max now if our current sum is less than the answer then we'll take the minimum from them right if our current sum for example we we were at the point at minus four right and our our previous sum was three right so from among of them we will take the value with the less value right we are taking the element with the minimum value which is minus four three from three and minus four minus four is small right so at that point we will taking the minimum value from current sum and answer right so at the point if our if our current sum is coming greater than zero we'll again initialize it with zero right so this is the simple code at last we are returning our answer right so you can see here we are simply running one for loop only we are simply running one for loop right this is here current sum right so this code will give us the window of this much this much window will give us the smallest sum contiguous array with value minus six right so now we were at seven right we are still left with the one element so we are at seven right so after adding seven our current sum is coming greater than zero we'll initialize it with again with zero right again our current sum is now zero right now we'll compare both of them the our minimum sum till now is minimum sum till now is Mm, it is minus minus six right we have added minus one also here it it is minus six now from zero and minus six minus six is less so we'll will not update our minimum sum again further we have minus five right we have minus five 
so we we can add it in our current sum so our current sum will be now minus 5 but from minimum sum which is minus 6 and current sum is minus 5 which is less minus 6 is less so we'll no, will not do anything in our minimum sum so till now we had seen the window this much we don't have to care about the window right but still this much window is giving us the value minus 6 and this is the this is giving smallest sum quantity of array right so here is the code for it right i am taking answer to return our final answer so initialize it with int max so now we are taking one variable current sum we are running for loop just one for loop so we are adding elements one by one and we are taking at at each at, for each element we are taking the minimum value right we are updating our answer with the minimum value for example uh, initially we were at 3 now we are checking for minus 4 from 3 and minus 4 which is less minus 4 is less minus 4 is minimum from 3 and minus 4 so till now till this window size of 3 and minus 4 this window this much window our minimum sum is minus 4 right so in this way we are sliding our window we are going from left to right right we are increasing our size one by one and uh, we are taking the minimum value so far right if at the point if our current sum is greater than zero we are again updating our current sum to zero right as we had seen here as we had seen here here our current sum is coming greater than zero right after adding seven it is coming greater than zero so again i have again i have updated it to zero further we have minus 5 this is less than 0 we can add it it will give us a profit so we can add it but till now till till this much window till this much window our minimum sum was minus 6 right but uh, now at after our array gets completed so uh, we are done with the traversing so now among minus 5 and minus 6 which is less minus 6 is less will not do anything in our minimum sum will simply return our answer right we are taking the minimum value so that's it it will work in big of n only because simply we are running one for loop and we are not using any space so it will taking no space it's big of one So you can see here we are getting the right answer minus 6 will be our smallest sum quantity subarray of this much window right so let's try to submit it yeah submitted successfully so thank you so much for being here if you still have any doubt please ask in